welcome back in this lecture we'll learn about the basics of pipe creation so let's start so first of all we'll understand the mechanical settings required for creating a pipe so you can type ms or we can go to systems and then in the section of mechanical equipment click on this arrow so there we have the dialog box for pipe settings now this is what we have already understood in the duct settings over here you can see the pipe settings here we have the angles in the same way as we have studied for ducts we can use any angle or you want to use any specific angle so let it be any angle the conversion this is basically for hydronic supply what type of pipe type we want and what middle elevation for this pipe we want now these are the by default settings in the same way for branch pipes this is the pipe type and middle elevation is 2750 which is the default setting if you want to change any of these you can do so now all these properties are defined for hydronic supply let's say we want to alter any value for hydronic return so we get the options for hydronic return and then we can change any of these values all right so now let's go to segments and sizes so this is same as what we have studied for ducts fluids also what type of fluids and their temperature and viscosity will be considered along with their density then we have the value of slope so these are the values which are already defined and then we have the calculation so for hydronic networks for pressure drop what kind of equations will be used we want to keep these values to its default settings and then finally for flow what calculation method will be used so here we have few of the basic pipe settings which is more or less same as the duct settings so click on ok all right so we have understood few of the parameters related to pipe settings now let's create a pipe to create a pipe we need to go to systems and over here we have the option of pipe we can also press pi the shortcut command for creating a pipe so here we'll simply click this and then we see some changes in the interface first of all let's go to the properties bar then we see the pipe types by default we have only two types loaded in this project so anyway let's select this one and create a pipe click move the mouse click again move the mouse and then click to come out of the command escape twice or right click cancel right click cancel so now you will find this is the pipe that we have created if you want to create further sections so we can also right click above this pipe and then we get the option of create similar so now we can create a similar type of pipe so this is the branch pipe you can see that the pipe fittings are automatically taken in the same way as for ducts press escape now let's create a pipe from here so there we have it so this is very similar to duct creation let's go to the properties bar again click standard and then we can draw pipes again this time the material is different so we are getting different visuals click cancel again hover over the pipe right click all right again hover over the pipe right click and create similar so we can create a similar pipe escape again click and you will find this is how pipes are created now we have only two types of pipe which you can find in properties browser if you want any other type of pipe we'll understand how to do that or we can also load few of the fittings and accessories and define them in relation with the pipe as of now simply understand how a basic pipe can be created now I want you to focus over here when we draw a pipe you can see that the middle elevation value is 3500 so if I click over here and now if I try to create a pipe 
the pipe will be created at an elevation of 3500 mm. But if I change the elevation to let's say 2750 mm and then if I create a pipe, what will happen? Now the pipe will be created at an elevation of 2750 mm. So let's click this and you will find that these two pipes, this one and this one are connected over here. Now this fitting is actually defined by what earlier settings we had. Now what I mean by this, let's go to pipe and here you will find that the earlier setting was change slope and slope down. So now the connecting pipe between these two will be a sloped pipe. So I'll show you in 3D. So this is what you can see over here. We have a sloped pipe. Now again go to the plan view and let's say I want to create another pipe from here at an elevation of 2750 but this time I want the add vertical option to be activated. Now if I draw a pipe from here you can see now middle elevation is 2750 mm so let's click over here and draw a pipe. Right click cancel, right click cancel, go to 3D view again. Now you will find that these two pipes which are at different elevation are now connected by a vertical pipe. So this is what the option of add vertical or change slope will do in case you want to create pipes at different elevations. You can join these two pipes by a vertical pipe or a slanted pipe. As of now let's click on slope off and let's discuss about the options bar. Now this option bar will only appear once you have activated the pipe command. Let's say I press escape twice. So this will go. Okay so let's go to the pipe command. Then we will find the option bar to appear over here. Here you can see a list of options with different diameters. So whatever diameter you want you can select from here. Let's say you want to have a pipe of diameter which is not available over here. So you can do that by making the changes in the pipe settings which I have already shown. So anyway this is about selecting the pipe diameter then you have the middle elevation. Now let's say you don't want to define the middle elevation instead you want to define the top elevation of the pipe. In that case you can go to vertical justification and change from middle to top. Then you will find this option to be changed as top elevation. Now you can define the top elevation of the pipe. Now the next option is to lock this dimension. So in case you don't want to change the elevation you can lock it and click apply and then you have horizontal vertical or model tags. Now these options will only appear if this option of tag on placement is active. Let's say if I deactivate this then these options will be gone. Now let's click it back and then we can have whichever way we want to represent the tags. So let's click on vertical and tags. I want the leader line. Okay I want the leader line also. So from here let's say I'm creating a pipe. So now this is not horizontal with respect to the pipe. Instead this is vertical and a leader line is also visible over here. So these are few of the minor settings. Alright so let's delete all of them. Next there are few settings in the properties bar that we need to understand. So click on pipe. And then in the properties bar we can see that there is horizontal justification. This can be changed as left, center or right. This is already we have understood while creating ducts how justifications help you in creating and restricting the pipe envelope. This is about vertical justification. And then we have the reference level. In this project we are actually taking the reference from level 0. So from level 0 the top elevation of the pipe will be drawn at 2764 mm. In the same way what middle and bottom elevation you want all these dimensions are taken from the reference level which is level 0 in this case. Then we have in dimensions the outside inside diameter, the size, the length. These are some of the options that you can 
select while drawing a pipe and also you can tweak these options in pipe settings. Then we have the mechanical options. First one is system classification. This is hydronic supply, then system type, hydronic supply. In case you want to create hydronic return, you can do so from here. So select this and draw a pipe, draw a pipe. So this is your hydronic return pipe. Okay, so this is what we have and then we can again go to pipe and in the properties bar we can see that we have the system type hydronic return and few of the other options as well. So with time we'll be exploring all of these. All right, there's something important to keep in mind. Whenever you're drawing pipe, there are a lot of time you'll be making mistakes while defining the system type because generally we go to pipe and create and draw the pipe. So this is what causes error a lot of time when you don't define the system type properly. So this is something that is to be kept in mind. Okay, then you have the pipe segment, what type of material it is. And then the diameter, which is what we have selected over here. Next few of the other values. Then we have the mechanical flow. Now over here, we actually have not connected these pipes with the mechanical equipment. So the flow values are not defined yet. But if you want to feed these values manually, you can do so. Click and type and then you can have the value. So as of now, I'll just keep it to be the default value. And then we have the identity data and the insulation. So once we apply any insulation, all that data will be available over here. So these are the settings that you have to keep in mind while drawing pipes. So we have understood the pipe settings, how to create a very basic pipe, what are the options to look for in the options bar and what are the parameters to consider in the properties bar. Hope you enjoyed the session. See you again in the next one.